good, Gary. Start it out, brother. Got to get you fit, mate. That's good, Gary. Not in front of the car. Don't run you over. Yeah. That's good, Gary. have your Hugh Jackmans and your Crocodile Dundees, but for my money, there's no bigger celebrity in Australia than Gary the Goat. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> and his owner, Jimbo, have made hundreds of videos, but they've never done an interview. And I've never talked to a goat before, so please welcome the greatest goat of all time, Gary! G'day from Australia. Where did you and Gary meet? I do comedy shows in pubs. And after a gig, a guy offered me a goat for a case of beer. You gotta start performing in Australia. My fans here just give me drugs and pussy after shows. <laughs> Can Gary do any tricks? No, he doesn't play guitar or sing or juggle or anything. He just goes into the pubs, he walks around, steals people's chips, does a shit and falls asleep. You and Gary might be alcoholics. Gary doesn't drink, which I'm really happy because every night people are offering him beer and if that if Gary drunk, I'd have a drunk goat every night and that's not good because he sometimes got to drive home. Does Gary let you ride him home? No, but I've got a goat buggy on the back. I've got a, like a harness for a horse where I sat in the back and yeah, but we couldn't steer, so we just ran into a truck. Hey, are there any little Garys in the future? No, no, he's got no balls, which means Gary's the end of the line. That's why he's going hard. Well, we appreciate him going hard. Thanks for being here, Gary. Bye-bye. <laughs> We've got a Gary in our office, and he is the life of the party, too. Gary. What they could do on a winter day is put the chill bill outside and take sweet potatoes that have just been baked Oh, okay. And put them in the crotch of your pants. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> and as you're, walking on, as you're walking on the treadmill, the sweet potatoes get mushy, and they're still warm, and they start running down the inside of your legs, and it makes you feel like you're in another part of the country, and you don't know where you are or how you got there, but it feels good. You have a dimensional outtake of what your realistics are. You live in an invisible prison, you don't know you're locked up, but your mind does. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> no, I haven't even started yet. Oh, God. I've had a couple out-of-body experiences. <laughs> you guys drink a lot here? And a carload of dogs pulled up in front of my house about five years ago. Gary! <laughs> Gary! <clears throat> it's called Lubricant Land. It would be a halfway American flag. Don't give up! Gary! You could paint a herd of hummingbirds in formation flying this way to him, like a V. <laughs> Dick of the week. Gary! <laughs> oh, how about a little head? Because <laughs> a miniature goats, I've seen them fornicate with mailbox posts. They just get up there and hub it. Peen. Gary. <laughs> you try to explore that word a little deeper with Peen. me. Peen. 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 Are you thinking of bean? Peen. 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 I'm glad you're not a teacher, man. <laughs> oh, if you... We have a hard time about... Oh! He left. <laughs> He's talking about your penis. <laughs> like a fine wine, Gary Busey only improves with age. He's the heart and soul of this show. He's insane. Insanely talented. <laughs> Gary asked if he could come back on another episode and physically battle me with children's toys. I have no idea what that means, but I said yes.